Well, a National Security Advisor June Espinon says this visit or goodwill visit of the Russian Navy vessel could lead to joint trainings between Russia and uh, Philipp the Russian and Philippine navies. He says it could also result in exchanges of, of information between the two navies. And also the goodwill visit is timely considering that Russia and the Philippines could finalize a uh, defense cooperation agreement during President Duterte's visit in Moscow next month, at least as according to uh, June Esperon. Now, this is President Duterte's second time visiting a uh, visiting Russian vessel. The first time was in January. The second time this afternoon, he went aboard the Varyag. This is Russia's guided missile cruiser. It's one of the two Russian Navy fleet vessels currently here in the Philippines for a four-day goodwill visit, accompanied by Acting Foreign Secretary Enrique Manalo, um, June Esperon, and also the Russian Ambassador Igor Kovayev. The President was shown the vessel's fighter helicopter, short and long-range anti-aircraft rocket systems, and the vessel's main weapon, the long-range anti-ship missile rocket system and anti-aircraft carrier. You know, while uh, taking photos with some of the Russian uh, Navy personnel earlier, we did hear President Duterte say, and I quote, the Russians are with me, so I can't be afraid. No other president has done this in the past, visit a Russian vessel here in Manila. This is seen, as you mentioned, a sign of the warming relations between Russia and the Philippines. Way back in 2011, a Russian Navy vessel actually docked here in Manila, but unlike President Duterte, former President Aquino did not visit the uh, ship or the vessel. Esperon says President Duterte's visit really is also a goodwill gesture on his part and that uh, he said President Duterte also wanted to make sure to uh, personally invite the Russian Navy back here in uh, Manila. Yeah? Inanda Longa reporting from Manila.